Hi, my name is Rob, and this is a buyer beware video. I've never made one before, but I felt compelled to after dealing with this kind of nightmare for the last few months of this Namiki, extremely expensive um, pen. It's called a Namiki Ayamaki A, um, and the color is Siriu Blue. I don't know if that's quite right. Incredibly beautiful lacquer. It is, I mean, it's the most beautiful pen I have, and it's even signed. Um, the first pen I got in September from a company in the United States. Um, there's not a lot of them that sell this pen. Um, the first one I had, and um, I started to use it, and I, I noticed that it was skipping a lot. And I, you know, because it was a present and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is the most beautiful pen I've ever had. I, I, I just didn't, I thought maybe it would break in. I didn't know what would, how, you know, maybe I was doing something wrong. Finally, I contacted the company, which, you know, reminded me that it was out of, out of um, return date. And I said, well, okay, I've never, I didn't, you know, I just want to get it to write. I don't want my money back. I don't want anything. Which, by the way, when you get a pen like this from Namiki, you get an old school warranty card that said lifetime warranty, and you literally fill it out, put a stamp on it, drive it to the post office, and mail it to Florida. Um, and let me tell you, it is going to do you nothing. Stay, save the stamp money, because I don't get what that is even for other than you, you do work for them. So, after returning the first one and the company um, said, hey, look, it looked like Namiki maybe overpolished the nib on this very expensive pen, they um, tested this pen and sent it to me. Um, and they did offer at the time to give me my money back or store credit, um, even though it was past return date. And I would say that they've, um, they were very helpful um, you know, but I just want to get it fixed. So I said, sure, no, just send me another one thinking that like, hey, it's just one bad pen. But um, I'm receiving the second one after somebody tested it in their office. I can't get it to write again. So, um, and now I've been told that, you know, I'm kind of crazy is the way I'm reading the corporate speak in, in my emails. And I'm just really frustrated because I just want the pen to work. Um, Namiki's going to do nothing. You get advice like send it to a Nibmeister. They sent me, the company sent me a list of Nibmeisters. Could you imagine the warranty card when I said, oh yeah, by the way, it's also been sent to a Nibmeister that I had to pay for. Um, it's, I'm like, no, I just, you know, somebody needs to either fix this, you know, or thus, thus. You know, what I'm saying is, if you're going to buy this pen, be very careful. I wouldn't do it. I've got other expensive pens, and I write a lot. Um, this is just a, a, this is a notebook from um, one month, one month of writing. I write about every day. Every day. Um, this is August 27th to, I think, September 30th. September 30th. Um, it's a lot of writing. I use the pens. It, it is a beautiful pen. It's kind of a show pen, but I use them. Um, these are some of the pens that are used in that notebook. Um, there's an Aurora, some Viscontis. Um, this is a Sailor uh, Niigata Togi. Um, this is a Pilot Custom 845 Yurishi. Uh, another Sailor. These two are older, kind of vintage Sailors. This is a Sailor. Um, I use these pens all the time. I do this in my work. Um, it's a bit of a hobby, but they get used. They're really workhorses. And um, I guess when I bought this pen, or, you know, it was given to me as a present from a loved one, um, I, I, it, and it's incredible. I, it, it's so beautiful. I expected to be able to do what I do with the other pens, and that just hasn't been true. Um, so I, I just feel like I'm... I need to share that uh, with everyone because I think I'm stuck with this pen at this point. Um, and I, I guess I'm just really, 
all I've wanted is to do is work. I, I didn't ask for money back. And you get so much corporate speak and, and talk down to that um, it's just, it makes you feel bad. So anyway, I'm going to do a couple of tests um, with this pen. And then, um, oh, by the way, let me see. Um, this is, it comes in a very fancy case when you buy it, um, as it should for the cost of it. The cost is insane. It, 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 it's too much. It, it's just crazy. So I, that's another part that compelled me is I, I never thought I'd, you know, have a pen like this. And when I got it, I, I thought that it wouldn't, it would, I knew that you're paying for the beautiful lacquer. I get that. Um, it's a handmade, but I guess I thought it would write well without skipping and it just doesn't. So anyway, I'm going to do a few tests because I've been told that I'm not holding the pen right. And that's the idiosyncrasies of this pen. And, um, this is the ink. I don't think it's anything strange that's in the pen. The chamber is full, almost full. Let's get the air bubbles up. Um, I'm told that I'm either rotating, and the, the thing is, none of those other pens skip when I write, and I write a lot. So I'm told that I'm not, I'm holding it too high, too much, too, too much angle, I'm just going to make some crosses here. Let's see if I can line this paper up. This paper is a South Worth natural wove paper, nothing, nothing strange. Um, what it does is the pen will run for a while and then it just seems to go dry as it started to do a little bit of skip there. And I'm told that I'm running it wrong. So this is pretty good. No complaints. Circles. And then my angle, it isn't right. So you, I, I think that what they're telling me is with this pen, you need to have perfect form, I guess, is the, the thing. Is it cross? Oh, there we go. And th this is what it'll start to do. I'll just do some downstrokes. And so I guess I'm supposed to angle, I, you know, when they showed me they were holding a pen like this, I, who writes like that? It, it, I don't. Um, it tends not to like to go down so much. There we go. And this is what it starts to do, and you see that double line. And I, I've tried pressing my hands shake a little bit, so I've tried pressing low. There it goes. And th this is actually running really well right now. Oh, there we go. We missed the whole line there, and I can't. I can't underline. Oh, there we go. Usually, if I start to do this, I get it back. Oh, there we go. Another one. And now I'm into a whole line, and I, I, I guess I'm. I, I don't know my angle here. And they held it like this, and then down. Maybe that's getting it down. But look, I'm down there. I missed a whole line. Down. I'm angled. Um, I'm going to have my cats here with me making the video. I'll try to write it. Manello, pretty good. Oh, there we go. We missed the end. Manello. I, and I, I guess I'm not writing right, but now um, when I take the Sailor Nagata Togi, it's snowy mountain, it's, it's rubber, and it has this kind of very unusual move, I guess, that you can... Right. It's a very expensive pen. Not as expensive, it's half the cost of the other pen. Um, and I can do this all day. And it, it's, this is a medium fine, and it is a fatter, fatter pen. Um, so however I write, um, if I'm gonna do this, it's gonna, it's not gonna skip. Um, I'm writing on just a, it's like a notebook. I, I write on a lot, it's very soft. Um, really like this pen. It's, it, this is the ink, it's a Takia 
silver or blue. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna grab another one. You know, why not? I'm gonna grab a Pilot with a medium nib. This is the the Pilot Custom 845 Yurishi. Um, you know, it's an expensive pen, but but not like the first two. Um, and the ink is the Pelican Sapphire. I'm gonna make some downs, lines. Let's do a ring and yellow. All right, so um, I. I, I all of these pens I use all the time, and they seem to like my writing style just fine. And then now if we go back to the Namiki, um, I'm going to do some down, let's see, oh, here we go, you see it missed that whole line. And I can, I can try to press lightly, I can try to change my angle. They, they, they seem to think that I'm turning it, but I guess that what that means is that this pen needs to be, if that's right, considering the first pen I had of this, they saw that it was over polished and, or I, you know, it had something wrong with the nib and that's a very expensive pen to have something wrong with the nib. So then the second one, I, I start to think there's a, a design flaw. So that's the reason of, Buyer beware on this because I just wanted to get it fixed and it is, once you have this thing, you know, they'll give you a, about the best they'll do is give you a, a list of, and see here we're just completely dry. Now I can change my angles, maybe I'm getting it there, but I mean those are just downs. So I don't, I don't, here's a, I'm turning it I'm, I'm up is up maybe better they seem to think they want 45 degrees and i'm getting it too much on the edge but i mean okay the edge the edge actually is making so if i do circles it seems to get back it will run for a while you can't write fast with it you can see it Lines, forget lines. I, I feel like there's there's something going on here, and you know, sending this back again. In, in the best they'll give me at this point is, as I was told, was a store credit. Um, and I, I don't. I want the pen. I just wanted it to work. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep keep down the path of of trying to get this pen right um, so that I can keep it because it's incredibly beautiful. But um, if I wouldn't buy it again, and I think that's why I wanted to make this video because I feel like you just end up feeling really bad. And you know, this was a gift and it's something I use. It's not, a, it, it, I mean, it is a very expensive pen, but they get used and I write a lot. And um, this pen is, is almost unusable. And when I bring that up to the company I brought it from, um, and the warranty of Namiki, which gives you nothing. I mean, you're, once you buy that pen, it's like, you're, that's your pen. And I, I, I think it's frustrating that I drove down and mailed this card to Florida with a stamp. I mean, what a waste of my time. Anyway, obviously there's some frustration. The pen is incredibly beautiful. I'm not, I, I, just buyer beware, I guess, if you're gonna buy it. Um, this is my second pen that I've gotten. The first one, they said something was wrong with the nib. I'm supposed to send this one back, which they said they tested and is fine, and it's probably my fault at this point, which is just frustrating. All I want to do is make it work, and it's not like I don't have other pens um, that, that work really well. And other expensive pens. I mean, it, it, this pen's fabulous. I can't say I really like this pen. This is the Sailor uh, Naginata Togi. And you, you can get this in a, a more normal um, case. It's a great pen. 
Um, the ink, ink is an equation. Here's a little sailor, same quasar ink. I can do this all day. Whatever. It's a finer nib. The ink's not the equation. They're willing to bring up anything. That's the problem. And I guess it's just me at this point. So anyway, I felt compelled to make this video. Um, it's it's a very expensive pen, and I don't I don't want people to have that buyer remorse that um, I I just I, I have. <laughs> so Namiki, I don't I think they made this as a show item to sign a contract, and then you spend a lot of money on a pen. They they, they don't expect somebody to use it day in day out, is my guess. And um, it looks like I've got a beautiful pen that skips. So. Um, anyway, that's that's my video. Um, be careful if you go and buy a Namiki.